Uh, the BBC documentary we did with, with back pain that aired last October, there was one woman in the show, you might have seen, the, your, your um, viewers might have seen the, the TV program. Um, at the end, when we, when we unblinded them, when we said, well, you just had a placebo, and many of these people got better, and she was very upset. She said, well, I haven't been playing with my children pr uh, in the way I would have liked to for two years. And all of a sudden, now I took a placebo. I was, I was able to play with my children. Does that mean I was faking it the whole time? My answer was no, not at all. Don't think that. Your pain was real, and the recovery was real. Just because the placebo can cure some people or make some people feel much better, it doesn't mean that the underlying problem was fake. This is due to a serious misconception about the placebo, not about the placebo, about medicine, that the mind and body are, are separate. They think that, well, if the placebo helped me, the problem must have been, must have been purely psychological. No, that, that, that's not the case. There's nothing which is just psychological. Hmm. It took a moment to think, is there anything that's just psychological? Even your thoughts, we can measure those with a brain scan. So you have all kinds of um, drugs in your body which can heal many things, and pain is complex also. It's rarely, back pain is rarely due just to a lesion in the lower back. It's often associated with different patterns, behavior patterns, and so on. So the fact that the placebo can help you does not mean the other underlying problem is real. It means the placebo effect is real and the mind and body are connected.